Hey fellow traders, in this video we're gonna take a look at the pullback factor indicator for MT4. You can download the indicator by the link in the description below. To run the indicator, simply drag the pullback factor indicator from the indicator list to your MT4 chart. And please, don't forget to click on the low daily imports in the settings window. The pullback factor indicator shows traders the end of the trend retracement and thus continuation of the trend. With this indicator, traders can take advantage of trend pullback to enter the market with the best entry point. This indicator also allows traders to enter fewer risky trades with perfect timing and accuracy. As you can see on the chart, the pullback factor indicator readings more than 1.5. This indicator readings are from 0 to 3.6 and any readings above 1.5 means the chances that a retracement has ended is high. This indicator is best for swing traders and position traders who make use of hourly, daily, weekly and monthly timeframes. The pullback factor indicator, however, is not advisable for scalpers, as they will get fake out trades most times. Traders must be familiar with the price section and market structure before using this indicator. In fact, this indicator is not suitable for forex newbies who have little knowledge of trading. For best practices, a combination of this indicator with Fibonacci tools will give good trade setups. In the indicator settings, we can change the color and thickness of the indicator line. All you need to determine the trend and wait a rollback. And the indicator will tell you the end of the pullback. For example, here is the indicator value exceed 1.5 and the pullback is over. So you can open a trade right here. And the second example right over here. The pullback factor indicator is useful tool that knows when the trend retracement has ended. It is a perfect tool to spot a perfect entry trade with a great risk to reward ratio. This indicator will give you best result when coupled with the Fibonacci tools. Newbies are advisable not to use this indicator blindly. Finally, this indicator is best used for hourly, daily, weekly and monthly timeframes. Moreover, you can download the indicator by the link in the description below. Bye-bye!